All right, so I'm hopping on the typical influencer bandwagon with dumb video ideas like reality versus expectation. But in today's video, I thought, you know, as I enter into my third year and I've had these conceptions of cybersecurity careers, I thought that I would create this video as bandwagony as it is. Uh, to talk about cybersecurity realities versus the expectation. And uh, as I grow into this career, I realize that there's lots of things that I don't know. As a university student entering into cybersecurity, I had a picture of what the ideal day-to-day -day would look like. Maybe you read some security news, triage some tickets, and maybe call it a day. Uh, but what I found is that there is a lot of complexity and barriers when you are in an organization and approaching security with people. And as I grew into this role, I felt like disappointed as I looked at a queue of tickets and realized that there's a lot of organizational barriers that cybersecurity has that you otherwise wouldn't have. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about three expectations versus the realities and this is subject to change as I continue to learn new things. But as a university student or as maybe a prospective individual looking into this industry, these are three realities or expectations that I would just keep in mind in the back of your head. Now, these may seem like kind of overly negative, and I'm not trying to be a negative individual here. I think that there are super positive things about this career. So starting out with expectation versus reality one, it's, it's really the skills shortage gap. We know that cybersecurity marketing uh, circles around the skills shortage gap and how many unopened six-figure jobs there are within this industry. You look at universities, marketing programs, uh, or boot camps and courses, and they'll tell you, hey, there are four and a half million opening jobs projected by 2030. And you think, okay, this is the career I can get into. Uh, and then you start to learn the curriculum, perhaps pursue some certifications or maybe get a university degree like I did myself. And you realize that um, it's a lot harder than it actually looks. Uh, well, it's an illusion. So as a university student, I had the expectation that I would be able to have job opportunities coming out of school. And when I applied online to online job search engine websites, I realized it's a lot harder than it looks. I expected I had this relatively easy time. I had this resume. I had a university degree, maybe a few certifications, which I had at the time. And I thought that I would be a decent candidate. But what a lot of recruiters are looking for is experienced professionals. And this is where kind of my controversial opinion comes in is that cybersecurity really doesn't have a skills shortage gap, or maybe that's the wrong phrasing. Um, it's more of a talent or experience gap that uh, cybersecurity has. There are lots of students and individuals which may possess the skills or the potential with their skills to go out and add value to an enterprise. But what you find is that recruiters, cybersecurity managers, and companies in general are looking for people who have already tenure with IT and specifically cybersecurity. And they're pretty stringent on their requirements, depending on which types of company or sector you're looking into. Uh, so I think that there's this reality versus expectation where the expectation is you'll have multiple high paying job offers but the reality is it's very competitive for those high paying jobs. You have to have and possess the skills and potential. And ultimately, um, the realities are cybersecurity jobs, entry level cybersecurity jobs, they may not exist or they may, depending on who you ask, and they're hard to get. And I am not gonna minimize that within any of my videos. They are difficult. They're not impossible, but they're difficult. This transitions me into expectation versus reality, which is adding value day one, or even adding value year one. Um, so when you look at cybersecurity, it's as much of an organizational or cultural issue as it is an actual technical tooling implementation type thing. Um, you know, company culture and attitudes towards security 
ultimately will determine how your department, your security team, and you are successful within the organization. Leadership's general awareness and risk tolerance towards security often shape how it's going to look within your industry. And this can be really hard to assess as an outside candidate unless you have maybe some contacts inside who can tell you the company culture. Um, so as an individual, when you get into your organization, what you'll find is that not only is the attitude important, but it's also this organizational complexity where you have these internal tools that you're trying to learn from a company, how they uh, deal with processes in general, and just their overall approach to security. And um, again, depending on the industry or sector you're in, some of them, some of them are going to be more, more risk tolerant than others and more aware. Um, oftentimes, and we've seen this time and time again, it's basically a company puts maybe minimal effort into their security program with in terms of budgeting, uh, personnel, and training, and then they get hit by ransomware, they get breached, and then they up ramp the entire budget or the security program. And that cycle kind of continues over and over again. Uh, so there's this level of complexity that I didn't really realize going in is that it's not necessarily how can I write this bash script to automate this really cool configuration? It's like, that's cool. But unfortunately, there's a lot of organizational red tape and barriers in enterprises. And that's just inherent to working with people. It's difficult and complex. And then finally, for expectation reality three, I created a video recently about this, and I've been really feeling this this year. And that is just the daily burnout or grind. You know, you look at a lot of YouTubers, marketing, you know, they're sitting there on their cool computers. They're, you know, typing away cool, awesome things. And it just seems so trendy and cool to be a hacker or to be an information security professional. But what you realize very quickly is just the amount of information that you have to continue to learn, you know, including just like the advanced attack techniques, procedures, defenses, new technology, and navigating all the different buzzwords. You're going to have defense in depth or zero trust, or you're going to have all these different buzzwords that you don't really need to know, but you kind of need to know. It's, it's tough. And the informational overload and complexity can consume you. Uh, for me personally, I feel in my life is that if I'm not learning or if I'm not doing something industry cybersecurity related, I'm not growing. And not only that, but I'm falling behind. Uh, and, and that's a personal uh, issue that I have to deal with. But I think a lot of individuals feel that to some extent in themselves. One must continue to learn in this ever evolving industry and not only that, but the tasks that you're doing, especially from an entry level perspective, depending on where you're at within security, can be very repetitive. You know, it could be account provisioning or responding to low level incidents in a SOC. There's a lot of different nuances with entry level security careers, but ultimately you're going to have this daily grind or burnout, and it just, it, eats your soul eventually. And I, I think I haven't really felt that until about year two in this industry. And, and now I'm kind of kind of thinking like, what, how do I actually approach this? Because this is my career. I don't regret getting into it, but it's, it's just something you have to deal with. So, you know, the, ultimately the moral story is, you know, don't trust or look at individuals on YouTube with a little bit of a lens, uh, including myself, right? I think everyone has to feed the YouTube algorithm, but you, you have to make sure that you are going into this perspective of, yeah, there's a lot of challenges and there's a lot of good things. And it's just a balance between what you are looking for. So yeah, that's my generic bandwagon video on the reality versus expectations. This is subject to change as I learn and grow in new ways in this industry. And I think that everyone has their own unique experience. So 
What is your experience with cybersecurity careers? Uh, are you trying to get into it? Are you a student? Are you an industry professional? Leave a comment in the, dis uh, in the description or in the comment section below. The security industry ultimately is a very rewarding career path. And um, I, I do think that ultimately it's still the career I want to be in. Um, so make sure to take care of yourself mentally, physically, emotionally, and well, yeah, until the next time, have a good day.